Here we are guys, uh, just before we get into the uh, video, here's a quick introduction on the uh, low speed needle. Right, welcome back to the channel guys. This is a video about the low speed needle on just how, this, how you tune it, what signs to look out for if you're running it rich or lean. There are two settings, I've just said them, a rich and a lean setting. A rich setting is more fuel and less air. And the signs of that will be the engine, when you pull a throttle, it will bog on acceleration, like it'll jutter and bog lots and lots of blue smoke. Or sometimes when you try and start your vehicle, it will not start at all. That means it's running too rich. When you've, um, and rich is counterclockwise on the low speed needle screw. And I will show you where that screw is right now. It is the flathead on the side, guys. That is the low speed needle screw right there. So a lean setting then is clockwise turns, meaning more air and less fuel. You will have really good performance in this, guys. A car will absolutely fly, but the engine temperature will get really hot. So you want to try and get that right balance where you're not overheating the engine and causing damage. And if you are running too lean as well, the engine will actually bog as well. It'll starve on fuel and it won't go. So what I'll do now, guys, I will, um, I'm going to start the vehicle, show you a signs here of a good low speed needle and I will adjust the needle and you will see, you will see and hear the difference in the engine. If the low speed needle is really lean, the wheels will start spinning by itself and um, if it's rich, they will, they will, they will spin, but very slightly because I've elevated the car, they will spin, but if I have it on the deck, they won't go anywhere. So um, I will start it now. I'm using the remote start on this, guys. If you haven't seen the episodes on how I installed it into this car, then check the links below because I'll put them in the, in the description. So I'll start it now, guys. And this will be a really good sound and uh, low speed needle setting. And then um, I'll turn it off, talk to you about it, and then I'll turn it back on and then we'll richen it and lean it out so, so you can hear then. So um, yeah, let's start it, guys, so you can hear it. So there we are guys, that there then was a very, very good sounding low speed needle. Um, I've given it a static tune, I haven't taken it out yet, but I'll give it a static tune and that's, that's a good sounding needle. So what I'll do now guys, I'll richen it out and the RPMs will drop really low and the engine might just quit and then um, it, won't, it won't start. So I'll have to put it back into the setting I got it now and then um, we lean it off then and you'll hear the RPMs rising and the car will just quit. So um, I'm going to start it again now, and I'm going to richen it out, which is counterclockwise turns, guys, bring the needle out, which is more fuel and less air, and um, yeah, the, RP the RPMs will go really low, and the engine will just will quit. So yeah, guys, let me turn it around. Bring you guys in a bit closer. Sorry about that guys, my phone went off, but yeah, so um, let's start the car now and I'll richen it out and you hear, hear the RPMs drop and the car will just quit. So yeah, let's do it. There you are guys, if you heard that then, the RPMs went really really low and it just quit. So if I want to go to try to start it now. Then just turn off. So what I'll have to do now guys is lean it back in clockwise. Um, less fuel and more air. And then we'll start it up again now. So yeah, that's a good sounding, good sounding um, low speed. There you go guys, as you saw by the uh, rich setting, the RPMs went really low and the cars just stopped working. So um, 
there was no way of starting that car then. So you have to go lean it back out and then um, give it a start. So we'll start her up again now to a good sounding low speed needle and then I'm going to lean it in and um, yeah, you'll hear the RPMs going really high and the wheels will start spinning. Well, they should spin anyway. So yeah, let's go do it. Yeah, guys, you saw the um, wheels start spinning, and as I leaned it in even more, the engine just quit, it wouldn't start then, guys. So, that's another sign for you. So, what I'll do now, I will richen it back out. I think the uh, I think the under batteries on the way out. There's a test, guys, you can do to know if, it's speed, if the uh, low speed needle is set right. So it's called a pinch test. So what that is, you turn your car on and you pinch the fuel hose here, and it should go. It should turn off. Well, it should take between four to six seconds to um, to shut off. If it shuts off straight away, your car's too lean, and if it takes longer to shut off, your car's too rich. So I'll go ahead now and start it, and we'll do the pinch test, and um, we'll count and see how long it takes to shut off. Yeah, guys, that was four seconds. That is ideal. That's spot on. That's what you want. So um, that's just a quick guide on tuning your low-speed needle. Any questions, put them in, in the comments below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And I'll try and help you to the best of my ability as I can. So um, we'll go ahead. I'll start it again now. We can go ahead and listen to the good, the good uh, sounding needle. actually bang on now that is really really good it's idling nice it sounds good and when you do the pinch test the rpms rise because you're starving the car from starving the engine from fuel so wants to suck that fuel through and then it shuts off at four seconds dead on so um if you have any questions like i said put them in the comments below guys and i'll get back to you but other than that hopefully this could help you um check my other videos on tuning because i've got really good videos i go in depth then on um, tuning so um yeah guys thanks for watching and um yeah, cheers.